Welcome to Photo Mechanic. So I've had time to use the program. I got Photo Mechanic 6 as an upgrade the day it came out and I've been using it for a while and I kind of basically at this point know what we have. Now these are just some family photos I have. You know, every assignment that I shoot I can't actually put up on YouTube or the internet. So we're just gonna take have these images up for today. So let's take a look and see if I think Photo Mechanic 6 is worth the time and money to upgrade. I personally love Photo Mechanic. I've used it for years. I was a journalist. In journalism, it's kind of the go-to program. Is it worth the money? It is absolutely worth the money. I absolutely love the program. So if you don't own it, I would definitely advise anybody who's never used it to go ahead and buy Photo Mechanic 6. Now the question is, should you upgrade from Photo Mechanic 5 to 6? And the answer is, well, maybe kind of. Not what anybody wants to hear. So what does that mean and why? Most systems or computers today run more run the program more efficiently if it's a 64-bit application than 32-bit. That's just a fact. The application itself is just going to run faster. But am I going to see the difference in that speed? And the answer is right now, no. So I've downloaded cards on both 5 and 6. There is no difference in speed. A regular SD card or compact flash card you're not really going to see the difference. Now, if I get a class two card or a really fast card that's doing 300 megabytes per second, is that going to download faster? What's well, going to download faster? Yes, of course. But you're always going to be limited by the speed of your SD card and your hard drives that you're moving the information to. If you have an SD card and it can only read from your card at 40 megabytes per second, well, even if your computer can process it at much faster speeds, it's not going to go any faster because the faster, the fastest you can get it off the card is 40 megabytes per second. So you're limited to that speed. If you have a 5400 RPM spindle drive, external drive that you're moving to the images to, and your, your top speed is 130 megabytes, we'll just say it's probably not that fast, but we'll just say 130 megabytes. Well, that's going to be the limit is your speed. But if your card is still only 40, you're only going to be able to do 40. If you have a class two card, even though your class two can read write at, let's say, 300 megabytes per second, we're just making that number up. If your hard drive can only write to the card at 130, it doesn't matter how fast the card is because you're limited by the slowest mechanism that you're going to. Now, if you had really fast SSDs and really fast cards, then is it going to speed up in photo mechanic? Absolutely. And it's going to be worth the money. But I think the average person is not going to see an upgrade in speed. So that's number one. Is it faster? Well, kind of, maybe not really. Number two, it looks a whole lot better. It's cleaner. It's easier to use. I love this gray. I love everything up here on the top. It's taking me a little bit to get used to because I keep wanting to go down here to click off and just see the images that I've selected. But, you know, eventually I'm gonna get used to that. So what else do we have new? So we have this crop tool. Is it something that I'm actually ever gonna use in Photo Mechanic? No, because all I'm doing in Photo Mechanic is rating my images, captioning my images, sending my images, and culling my images. I'm not actually cropping. I Once I pick my images, I send those right over to Adobe Camera Raw and tone them in Photoshop. And if I need to crop, I'm going to crop in Photoshop or any editing program that I'm using. The only reason I could see wanting to crop in here is let's say you just tone your images without cropping, which makes sense. And you save it as a PSD. And then let's you, you have an image that you wanted to crop for Instagram, let's say. Well, you could come in here, change your settings to a one by one ratio. So I'll do one by one and I have constraint um, proportions crop on here so it will keep everything as a square and now I could come in here and easily crop this as a square and then it's going to be at least the right ratio to put on there but it's not going to actually apply to the image it's something that I can take off it's going to be 
non-destructive crop. But truthfully, I'm personally not going to do that. I'm just not going to crop in photo mechanic. It doesn't make any sense because why would I not just do that? All that work. I have actions and all this stuff set up in Photoshop and I'm going to do that stuff there. Are there going to be people that crop in here? Maybe, I guess. I don't know why they would do it here versus somewhere else. It's there. Okay, it's a cool feature, but is it worth an upgrade fee? I would say no. The next main feature that they are promoting is you can send by, if you come in here to FTP, notice we have all these other options now. So now we can send to Amazon S3, don't use it, don't use it, don't use it. Dropbox I do, so I could send my image to Dropbox directly from here. FTP I use. I don't use any of this stuff. I don't use Photo Shelter. I don't use Smug Mug. I do use Twitter. So maybe I could send from Twitter. Originally they had Facebook and, and, and I don't blame Photo Mechanic for this. Photo, they set up so you could send to Facebook, which I think would have been a useful feature for a lot of people. But Facebook changed their policies and don't allow you to send to Facebook via this method anymore so it doesn't work so it looks like they've probably taken it off so if i wanted to send an image via twitter i could set up my account and i could come in here and add my caption and it's really well thought out you can add all the information that you're going to need you can add a watermark you can rescale your image you can change your jpeg and then you can send it off to twitter so is this new twitter social media upload worth it if you use it, am I gonna use it? Not really, there's just other methods that I prefer that I will most likely be using rather than this. And basically that's the gist of the new program and really what is totally different. I think it's gonna be up to the end user in this. Am I happy that I have it? Yes, because I just know that this 64-bit application is gonna work better and run better on Mojave in the long run, especially over the years. You know, just that old program. I don't know how often it's gonna get updated. It's just gonna run into more and more conflicts. Obviously, Photo Mechanic is going to update or keep this the most current. So this is worth it to me as a professional. It's not that much money that I have to invest. However, for the average person, do they need to update right away? No, take your time. Now, Photo Mechanic is coming out with a plus version or a new version, which is going to do cataloging as well. I don't know what the price point is going to be on that. Um, personally, I don't like cataloging. That's one of the reasons I actually hate Lightroom. I wish Lightroom had something that I could turn that on and off because I shoot so many photos and I'm constantly filling up hard drives. And when you remove a hard drive, it removes the path and then Lightroom doesn't know where the images are. Since I'm constantly shuffling and filling up drives, it's not really worth it to me to catalog because in a year I've moved on from that hard drive and I've got a new hard drive. The new photo mechanic cataloging is most likely not something I'm gonna be interested in, but that is coming out. And if you do like that, that's definitely gonna be an option in the long run for you. Hopefully this has been helpful. You learned a little bit about the new version of Photo Mechanic 6 and what I think about it. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below and don't forget to subscribe.